Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning from beautiful Campbell River this morning. We are uh, just headed for a nice little walk right now. Slightly hungover from Canada Day, but uh, it is a beautiful day today and we're out walking. People are out uh, enjoying lovely meals overlooking the ocean. And speaking of the ocean and the harbor area, let's give you a look. So there we go, downtown Campbell River, my hometown. Uh, we've got the pier off in the distance, uh, right there, which we'll be passing. We're just on the sea walk right now. I mentioned, of course, the people having uh, lunch and everything out there, which you can see behind us. But it's, uh, it's a gorgeous day today. And perfect day for a walk, get some exercise, and uh, oh, it's great to be on vacation, everybody. It uh, was a long contract. Canada Day was great. My uh, sister did a, uh, a fabulous uh, barbecue last night, which was awesome, and we really, really uh, enjoyed that. Another look at the... Uh, the marina here, the harbor. This is the, the one right downtown, so quite a few fishing boats and that sort of stuff there. And uh, I haven't been back to Canada in four years. I haven't been to my hometown, so uh, quite a lot has changed. There's uh, quite a lot of new developments, especially condos and stuff like that, which has gone in, which is, you can see this building here which is uh, currently in the construction process. And uh, I hope I can get through on this walkway. <laughs> I didn't really, uh, didn't really plan out this little excursion here this morning. Just wanted to get out in the weather and uh, burn off some calories from yesterday. I got, unfortunately, stuck at the Vancouver airport for my flight was only 45 minutes from the south terminal but unfortunately they decided to cancel my flight and then I had to book with another company in order to leave in a timely manner and unfortunately um, that flight was delayed as well so all in all I should have been home at like one o'clock in the afternoon, but uh, ended up getting home at like after four. So yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't the best. I was a little grumpy about that because it certainly cut into uh, cut into my day. But uh, what are you gonna do? So this is the South Island Highway here, downtown Campbell River. You can see over there. That's towards the downtown core and the foreshore park where I was parking. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful Canadian summer day. Hopefully this weather holds for the whole week from talking to my folks. They say that the uh, weather's been a little bit uh, inconsistent to say the least. Um, but let's see how it, how it works out. So, yeah, a lot of the uh, storefronts have changed. Uh, this looks fairly new building here. See a couple of, couple of lovebirds over here. These gardens and everything look great. The seawalk is uh, quite lovely. Yeah, more gardens here. So the town looks really good. Um, there's been a lot of refurbishment, especially along the uh, along the ocean, with medians and gardens and all of that sort of stuff. So it's pretty uh, pretty awesome. Let's look at the harbor again. It's great, and that's the famous Campbell River fishing pier out there. Let me zoom in, give you guys a better look. So, uh, just let me say a quick note. Uh, hope that 
Um, everybody's been enjoying the channel. Friendly reminder, like and subscribe. But uh, let's keep going up here. Dick's Fish and Chips. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Uh, take a little walk up the hill. We'll get to the top of the hill. And then when it's a bit more scenic, we'll come back. Okay, welcome back everybody. So we are at the Campbell River Merit Maritime Heritage Center. And that's again where they have my dad's uniform inside. Uh, I'm tempted to have a little look, check it out. But uh, I'm not sure if there's a cost and all of that sort of stuff. And I'm just trying to get a good walk in here before meeting up with a friend for lunch. So, be back in a minute. All right, so we are continuing our walk here on this beautiful day, July 2nd. Actually, it's interesting. Facebook reminded me that 14 years ago, I quit smoking. So, shout out to my brother-in-law, Gord, who we were hanging out last night, who's hit his six-month point. Congratulations, my friend. And, uh, but yeah, 14 years, nicotine-free. It's awesome. Let's spin you around, give you a little, another look at the ocean here. So, this is just one of the little parks along here, along the uh, seawalk. We got a nice little uh, First Nations totem, uh, some nice couple of benches here, and uh, across the water there we can see Quadra Island. The radiance of the sea is past last night, Canada Day, uh, but unfortunately uh, I was long in bed before that happened. We couldn't see the ship go by. But a lot of people do this, and we did this with my dad. This is a, a little dedication here to somebody who passed away. And this bench, that's always a nice tribute when people do that. And uh, my dad has one um, in the park across from my sister's house. So the bench is kind of close to them, and they usually have a tradition that they go over to the bench and drink a little bit of whiskey. Uh, as dad liked to do. Um, so yeah, getting a little bit sentimental here, but it is my hometown and uh, I haven't been here for four years. Uh, up here, we got Campbell River Museum, which is very, very cool. Uh, now this little gate is interesting. Um, Campbell River has a sister city in Japan. Um, and let's just find out what it is. Ah, Ishikari in Hokkaido, Japan. I'm gonna have to look that up because I've been to Japan a couple of times, but uh, Sacred Tori was commissioned by the people of Ishikari City in Japan, assembled on this site for acknowledging 10 years of sister city relations on the 7th of August, 1993. So, a little Japanese culture in our little town here. And again, we got the First Nations totem pole as well. It's nice, nice little feature on our little walk here. Which is very, very cool. Yeah, so the museum, you can see. I'll zoom in here, we got the Canada flags flying for Canada Day, which was yesterday. Uh, there was quite the fireworks display, um, especially for a small town. So I really hope that all of the families and kids and everything uh, enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, so far so good. It's cool park, all right. I'll be back with some more scenic stuff for you. All right, so we are back, everybody. Um, thought I would stop at this little location on the walk here. So this is Hidden Harbor. 
Uh, it's kind of a famous little condo complex. My grandparents lived here for a little while. And it's a, it's a neat set of buildings because it, um, eh, obviously it's, an, it's a condo complex, but it has its own marina. So that's uh, rather unique for a, uh, for a condo complex. So, yes, a beautiful hidden harbor right on the water. And um, yeah, it was a really cool, cool place that I remember from growing up. So uh, while I was, uh, while I wasn't recording, I got a call from a, uh, uh, a very old friend, J.R. Nisbet, uh, who not only were we friends uh, growing up and graduating in high school and everything else, he came to live in the Dominican Republic for a couple of years. When I lived down there, we went into business together and uh yeah so, uh, so we're gonna catch up one of these days here during my canada trip so okay as we're coming around here this is a nice little uh a nice little change we're back on the seawalk we've been through the colossal hike through the hills and yes, now we're back on the seawalk path, the bicycle path. And oh, this is kind of nice. Gives you all of the, the details about how far kind of everything is and how many clicks. So yeah, another look at Hidden Harbor there. And let's keep it going. Where are we up to today? Oop. 25 minutes, 2.15 kilometers, 3,000 steps. And this little, little bay here, Hidden Harbor, looking across to Quadra Island. Uh, that is Cape Mudge over there, the lighthouse, which I always point that out from the videos from the ship. So yeah, we are definitely on the other side here. Uh, let's keep our journey going. Amazing to see so many Canadian flags around, but of course, the nationalistic pride is going well. Uh, yeah, the Rotary Seawalk. We have made it. Service above shelf. So this is, I guess, done by Rotary here, which uh, my mom and dad dad was part of, mom's a part of. Let's keep her going. So also uh, Steve Michaels I got a hold of and we've got a booking for lunch today. So I can't miss out on that. Uh, that's going to be at 1.30. So that's give or take an hour, so I've got to make sure I have 45 minutes to get back to the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'll be back when we get near the water again. Okay, continuing our journey on the seawalk of Campbell River. And we have another rotary landmark here. This is signifying the 50th parallel or the 50th parallel north on the globe because it actually runs straight through this point. So yeah, Campbell River is bang on. 50 degrees north on the globe. So that's kind of neat. This little spot right here is now a Greek restaurant. This was a famous pub called Freddy's that uh, we used to go to and uh, always used to have beer and chicken wings, which was uh, great. Okay. 
Okay, everyone, so I think that's probably going to do it for uh, this video today. Uh, I might get a little bit of footage later, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, be busy catching up with people today. So, thank you as always for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Cruising life with Ken. And I hope everybody has a fabulous morning, afternoon, evening, wherever it is. Wherever you are, whatever time, have a great day. Ciao for now.